Hi and welcome to a very sunny and nice Netherlands, Amsterdam. And welcome to Wrong Way. And today we're going to Micromobility Europe, which is in Amsterdam, in a country where those and pretty much any personal electric vehicle or here light electric vehicle is banned. So if they want to take my UC, or the one that I borrowed for, from Timo, thank you, they have to take me with it. So let's go and check out the show. Broadway. All right, and I guess uh, here we are, micromobility, that's the, that's the logo. Uh, so if you want to see like a thorough person <laughs> enjoying like all the vehicles there. Maybe click on a different video. I'm in a bit of a salty mood today. Well, first of all, because I have to walk here. And second of all, I'm like, I'm not interested. Like, you know, two wheels, three wheels, four wheels, too much. Yeah, let's check out what's here. Is it here actually? I think I'm wrong. I have to go there. All right, I see the cakes. I saw a picture of Andrew of those. More boring two-wheeled vehicles. Hello. Is there registration here? All right, so we are in. Here's my badge. Wrong way, media. Thank you for inviting me here, Micromobility. People just looking at me. <laughs> what, what's this guy doing with his stupid handcuffs? Here I have some Inukin. Boring. It's two wheels, three wheels, four wheels too much. Mono wheel is all I touch. <laughs> There is a there's a song actually on YouTube. You can listen to it. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is it? It's a it's an EUC. You just put those down, those pedals, oh, okay. and then you can ride on it. It's the it's the future, but not in the Netherlands. It's like not allowed here. Why? I don't know. Like they allow scooters, which are like um, fossil fuel powered on the bike paths, right. but not this because obviously that makes sense. You can go to jail for that. Like they treat you as a criminal. Wow. Yeah. Is this a stand-up mechanism? Or is it... I can show you. So, I don't know how, I, how well I can do it with the handcuffs, but uh, I'll try my best. You just put your foot down and... Can you can you take the other one for me down? The foot That's plate? Good. The foot plate here on the bottom. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh, thanks. So then you just stand on it and you ride. Yep. And that's it. You don't need the handlebar, you don't need anything. Get out of here. Yeah, it's awesome. It, this is called a King Song 16X. So if you look for those, like EUC or Monowheel, you can find out about it. Yeah, I have a photo of you on YouTube. Thank you, take care. Have a good day. World's first plug and play electric propulsion devices for bicycles. I'm just curious about the battery size. Okay. So that's a 144 watts per hour. So, so you can put it in a plane. You can exactly. You can travel in sure. the plane. Then you can attach it to any bike. So overfit here. Oh, it has like a small wheel for the big wheel. Exactly. Uh, what what happens if it's wet? So if it's wet, we have different uh, kind of uh, roller. So this one is a grip roller. Okay. So it will grip better. Okay. Now it's it's really wet, really really yeah, yeah. hard. It's not going to work. No. Oh, okay. So it's a. Uh, it's not a very rain wheel. It's not Amsterdam proof. Uh, it's uh, summer. I'm still in summer. It's summer Amsterdam. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Am I too mean? Tell me. Tell me when I'm too mean. Regret. Looks to me more like regret. Oh, look at that. You're standing, but you're not standing. Again. Look at the sign, two wheels, three wheels. In case it's three wheels, it's also too much. Sorry. A little manta ray. I guess this is a scooter which folds twice, so it will have even more loose spots. A lot of squeakage probably, actually. Oh, sorry. Oh, here you are. <laughs> there you. There he is. I, I showed myself a few times there. <laughs> That's amazing. Good to awesome. see you, dude. Good to see you too. I'm, I'm ch checking stuff out. I saw the EUC at first, and then I was like, I was like, what is this? I was like, oh, it's Adam. <laughs> yeah, there, there you, you go. go. Yeah, because I've been riding, wanting to ride an EUC here. Yep. It's illegal. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's illegal. I was kind of bummed. Do you have anything like cool to show around here? 
Anything cool? Actually, this could be really cool. So this is a really cool technology by Tannis. Tannis does uh, tire liners but they've made a tubeless tire that actually feels like a regular tire. Uh, so it's like a tube without air. I mean, a, yeah. a tire without air. Yeah, an airless tire. So airless, yeah, tubeless. yeah. I keep saying tubeless, it's an airless tire, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but feels like a pneumatic tire. Adam has experience with airless tires on scooters. I hate them. But nothing on an EUC, right? No. But you can try this bike and try the braking on it and you'll you'll feel that it actually feels like a Maybe I can tire. look at it. I, I don't yeah. feel like riding a bike. No, it's fine, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Feels funny. It it's like a bit like packaging. It feels like foam. It's, it's a type of foam. Yeah. Interesting. I wonder what happens if you skid. Does it like does it also like get the edge then when you skid? Um, I tried sliding out with it yeah. and it felt like it just gripped really well. That's so cool. it, but it, I mean, it's perfect for rental stuff, right? So this is, you might actually want to ride this. This is the um, this is the Hilo one in the folded position. Do you have like any anti squeak mechanism because like folding devices usually like squeak and get loose? So that's part of our next stage. So we're going to productionize this after our right over the next eighteen months. Um, we're looking to launch. Late 2024. Prototype. It's a prototype. Yeah. Oh, it's a prototype. Yeah. And this is um, underpinned by computer vision AI. So we have a camera at the front, camera at the rear. So if you imagine a vehicle approaching from the rear, then this will start to illuminate red. Okay. So it's providing feedback to, to obviously the rider and other road users. Yeah, I guess it, I, unless you're in a truck, because then they're gonna not gonna see it with their like that that uh, angles. I mean, they're what's it called? Like the blind spots, right? Blind spots. Yeah, yeah spots actually, there. yeah. I mean, there is some interesting... Well, it's cool, it's bright. I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's creating that kind of sense of space. Or... It looks very Tron-esque. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's the battery size on it? We haven't finalized the capacities, but we're working to a range of uh, 40 kilometers. 40 kilometers? Yeah. And that's with twin 351 motors. Okay. With uh, e-braking. With e-braking. Oh, region is awesome. I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Thank you so much. Cheers, thank you. Yeah. This is Luke. Hi, Luke. Hey, Wait. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, sorry. Dude, that's so good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, have fun. I wonder what the price of the scooter will be. I think like 3,000 euro, probably. For, For the Tron scooter. Oh, the Tron scooter? I'm not sure. I think it... I wonder if it'll ever come to market. That's what question. I was thinking. <laughs> that's my I mean, question. fingers crossed for those guys. It actually looked pretty cool, though. It did look cool. I thought it was it's a like, I think like you like to look at, but you would never buy it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. The more moving parts, the more difficult it is to make a good thing. I like those a lot, those cargo bikes. Yeah. Yeah, we need this for electric unicycles. We do need this for the A2. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it does off roading. Yeah, watch this. This is actually really cool technology. Yeah. Look at that wheel yeah. on the front. Oh, so it opens up so it's easier for them to get in. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, a little. That's really embarrassing. There you go. Yeah, it's horrible. Like uh, Jerry Rick, everything did something similar, right? But yeah, a lot bigger. His wife, yeah, his wife has some uh, mobile, mobility issues, but. Yeah. What's really cool about that is they said that they're trying to make it look cool because a lot of people think of yeah. um, mobile scooters and it not looking cool. And yeah, more it definitely looks a lot cooler than the usual ones around. Yeah. It's like a skateboard and a seat on top. Yeah, absolutely. It's cool. But I don't know if there's really much, there's nothing with just one wheel here. This would be a beautiful country to ride UCs at. It's amazing, dude. Like I rode here, even though it's illegal, but yeah. it's amazing. Oh look, it's a, uh, looks like a Seta, but but new. Look, the lights are in the mirrors. Oh, the light, yeah, the lights are in the mirrors, and then you should see how this thing opens up. Oh, yeah, that's the front door, probably, right? Well, it just opens up this whole front. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this whole front thing opens up. Yeah, it's a. Uh, they, they actually did something like this, just like with a combustion engine, oh, yeah. like 50 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a BMW. BMW? I said a. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. cool, it made, they made some, uh, like a new. New version of it, sort of. It. And probably the turn signals work now. Oh, because it's not a BMW anymore. Yeah, there you go. Micro Two backpacks. Oh, the seat looks really cool, too. Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's like a one bench seat. I like that. I'm a yeah. fan of that. I think it's the BMW scooter. No. No, it's, it's, it's not the BMW scooter. I thought it was the BMW scooter. Like, the BMW scooter had no throttle. But yeah. you could like push it from the back and that's how it would accelerate. Oh wow, I don't know. Yeah, it's like an air pump sort of. Uh, that's interesting. That's why I was like so happy to see it oh, yeah. because it was so weird. <laughs> oh, 
So it's a scooter that folds in the middle. Yeah, this is patented, so it folds here. The handlebars also fold down three ways, and then you can take the front wheel off. It's designed to fit into a Fiat 500. In the Fiat 500. 20-inch wheel, so that's providing you, and the bamboo, the bamboo deck provides a lot of spring as well. But the deck is under metal, right? The, 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 the wood doesn't do anything. It's not like bendy, it's like a skateboard, right? No, it's like, it's no, it's like a longboard, basically. But the longboard doesn't have metal under it. Uh, that, that, that wood is not bendy. <laughs> this is John. John's the founding. Okay, sure, sure, no worries. I'm in a bit salty mood today, I'm sorry. I like the BMX tires. Like, yeah, 20 inch. Yep. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. And the mountain bike handlebar. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so you have to go with the feet together. Two wheels is too much though, right? Yeah. What it says on the sign. That's why I'm not riding it. <laughs> no, I was just wondering about the battery size. Why does this thing keep coming up? Uh, what hours? So it's like a nine baht max, but comfortable. Very. Yeah. I wonder if it can go over speed bump. It doesn't like speed bumps. It doesn't like speed bumps. Oh, it's a prototype. Oh, it's a prototype. It's a prototype. Velcro. Okay. I like the frame though. The frame is cool. The frame's beautiful. That belongs to us. All of that is completely bespoke. As is the drivetrain, as is the controller, as is the battery. This is the only scooter that has won a Eurobike award in history. Only scooter that has won a bike award. Nobody rode it though, right? Are they gone? <laughs> Nobody rode it. They've ridden it to death. Oh, okay. So so it is on sale or no? It's on sale. It will go on sale in the next month and we launch oh, okay, got you. in October. Okay, that's cool. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I think I won't get invited here a second time. <laughs> so these pants of Adam are hilarious and he shouldn't have any room to judge anyone. <laughs> Wearing those pants. <laughs> you, you are correct. You're not <laughs> wrong. Correct, yes. <laughs> who, who is Adam to judge yes. people when he's wearing these pants? Let me just show you what it looks like for me. There you go. That's, <laughs> that's hilarious. Amsterdam reminds me of the Portland of America. So very weird, very odd. Adam fits perfectly there, okay? <laughs> I borrowed something. I borrowed this yesterday and I was riding this on a bike path. Oh, because this is legal, right? Yeah, so technically, because I was just staying under 25 kilometers an hour. Oh, under 25. Gotcha. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, see? Uh, it's Yoda. I think I found something where I have an exception to the rule. Yeah. Here, two wheels are actually good because my UC is broken. I take it to Serge. I put it in here bike sharing and then yeah there you go this and is perfect comes, yes it's, we found something with two wheels that adam does like i'm a fan <laughs> i'm a fan of that actually i'm shocked <laughs> i'm shocked today <laughs> all right and while we we got some coffee like we were pretty much around the whole event with andrew so if, if we find something like more interesting stuff maybe we'll test something i know i have a helmet with me Pretty cool. I hope you liked the short video. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. See you in the next video. See you soon. Okay, there's one more cool thing. There's a cake scooter for like lots of cargo in the back and a battery here. She can steal easily. So yeah, that's really cool.
Maybe you can't steal it easily. I don't know. It looks like you can though. Just a strap. 